Hey y'all, what's up? It's Lauren and welcome back to my channel. So, today I wanted to talk all about the royal wedding. I hope y'all are tuning in because I know I am. Um, I have my crown ready, I have my pearls ready, I am ready, and my Diana ring ready, so I'm ready to go. I thought it would be a really cool idea to start today off with a royal wedding book tag. I created this myself. If you find one out there, um, in the interweb universe, please feel free to let me know so that way, um, I can do that one as well. But this one, I created, so it's kind of lame, but y'all are going to have to, like, ignore that. Um, also, ignore my lighting. It has been rainy all week here in North Carolina, and it sucks. So, I'm having to use my overhead, um, fan light, and usually I would have my natural light coming in from my windows, but... That's just not happening today because it's it's dreary and nasty and rainy outside and it's like 80 degrees and it sucks. And my hair is like totally, I can already feel it just frizzing. <sighs> anyway, so without further ado, let's jump in to the tag. Um, I did create this tag. Um, so excuse me if it's lame. Um, the first one is first uh, favorite couple slash uh, or royal couple slash ship and that would be Y'all know I was going to have to go there. Maxon and America. Um, what more can I say? What girl does not want a Maxon in their life? Um, I'm listening. That's right. No one. Um, I totally, I just, I loved them. I think, you know, I, and previously in, um, in my some of my previous like book reviews about this you already know how I feel about America and it's it's you know fine or whatever but I just absolutely love Maxon and her ship 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 all day every day seven days of the week I don't care just ship that is my like favorite royal couple <sighs> um and so some of these also are are like kind of book related and and not book related um so just bear with me. I hope y'all like it. Um, so my favorite book wedding, y'all know I had to add this one in there. The wedding was at the very end, um, but yeah. So I love it. It's one of my favorites and yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. If you haven't read this, I apologize for spoilers. Um, I'll let it y'all know down in the comments whether I mean down below in the um description box whether we have spoilers in this or not but I, I apologize but y'all already seen my book review um on this as well but I just I loved the wedding in this too so I mean can y'all blame me um the next one is favorite uh wedding movie I am a sucker for wedding y'all know I'm a sucker for wedding fiction I actually should do a book like tube video on just my wedding fiction that I have because I have a bunch um and you'll probably see a lot some of that today um but I am doing um I do love like I, I'm just a sucker for weddings I don't know why I just am um so my favorite wedding movies they're ties um it's a tie and I cannot choose between my favorite favorite but it's a tie between Runaway Bride with Julia Roberts and Richard Gere and, um, Father of the Bride with, um, Kimberly Williams Paisley, I think, um, and Steve, Steve Martin. Two of my absolute favorite wedding movies ever. I love them so much. Oh, just, oh, go watch them if you haven't. Julia Roberts is phenomenal in the, in, um, the Runaway Bride. It's been one of my favorite movies since I was, like, little. So, that's just, yeah, just go watch them. That's my favorite uh, movie. Uh, wedding. Um, number four, what is your favorite royal couple, fiction or non-fiction? I actually have a, I don't, I can't choose a favorite royal couple in fiction. We don't have a lot of royal couples in fiction, which um, is not surprising. And I would have already used the Maxon and, and thing, and America thing, but you know, that's already been used. Why would I want to do that again? So instead, I'm just going to go with um, William and Kate. Um, my mom, I remember I got up at 6 o'clock. No, actually earlier. I think I got up at like 4 o'clock that morning. Um, I was a junior in high school when it happened. 
and I got up at 4 o'clock that morning, put on my British t-shirt, put on, you know, just got really excited. I had a Diana ring, not as good as this one, but um, I had a Diana ring, put that one on. I was just ready and waiting. And my mom let me go to school late so I could watch it. It was just, oh, it was so phenomenal. It was like... Y'all already know I'm a huge just British royal fan already and so it was like my one of my lifetime achievements to watch that <laughs> wedding. I still need to get it on DVD because I'm that much of a nerd <laughs> but still they will always have like a special place in my heart. My mom's like she goes D Charles and Diana was my time. She's like William and Kate was your time. I was like I know that's that's my favorite. Um, they will probably still always be my favorite royal couple because I fell in love with them. I'm still in love with them. I literally have like I bought a William and Kate the Royal Wedding 2012 calendar and I literally have all the pictures like right here in front of me on my wall um, because I'm just uh, so obsessed with them. I have like books about them. It's just I love them um, and they are my favorite royal couple um, and Meghan and Harry are going to get up there <laughs> very very quickly um, but yeah it's for me it's always just because I, I saw her dress and I was like that's my dream dress and like everything anyways. Um, <laughs> Oh my gosh. But, I mean, it was just so elegant. And if y'all didn't watch it, go on YouTube. See if y'all can find it. Or, I don't know, just something. Because it's great. I need to get it on DVD. I've been meaning to ask my mom to get it for me on, uh, for my birthday. But, um, favorite princess. I'm gonna go scoot into Disney for a little bit. Um, I, my favorite princess would probably have to be Belle. Um, obviously my Beauty and the Beast calendar behind me. I am obsessed with Belle. I, she and I have so much in common. We're both very strong-willed, independent women, and we, um, are, we're oddballs. We are bookworms. We are just, she's my spirit. You know, if, if she were an animal, she would be my spirit animal. Uh, she and I are both so, like, similar, and I, I love Belle. So Belle's my favorite princess, and my favorite prince Harry. Um, this is not Disney, actually. My favorite prince is Harry. I have always had a crush on Harry. Um, it was William, and then it switched to Harry. I've always had a crush on Harry. I probably will always have a crush on him. I just think he's, he's such a cutie, and he's got the red hair. Like, he's a ginger. I mean, come on. Gingers are freaking awesome. Um, and I just, I don't know. And I think he's kind of like the unsung hero of the royal family. So I think that's really, really cool. And um, just, I love, I've always loved Harry. It's one of my favorites. I thought he was just such a cutie as a teenager, adult. He's cute now. So, yeah. Uh, my favorite royal wedding, again, um, would probably have to be um, Kate and Williams. Because... That was just during my time. Um, and there's a lot of royal weddings. We've had Queen Victoria's. Queen Victoria's wedding was the first to be like, she was the first to wear white in her wedding. So she was the one that actually started the whole white, wearing the white dress. She wore white and I think she wore like orange blossoms or something in her hair. Um, but it wasn't televised because it was in 19, she, it was 1837. Or no, 1838 was the year I think she ascended the throne. 39 and then 40. 1840 was when she married Prince Albert. Um, and so she only married him like two years after she ascended the throne. And so obviously we didn't have TV during that time. Um, but, you know, we did have TV during the time of her funeral. Or I think it might have been filmed. I'm not sure. But anyways, I don't think we did. Um, uh, or I meant like not TV as in like... Oh, watch it on TV. I meant like, um, cameras and like film and everything. So you can like film it. Um, but yeah, so, and then Elizabeth's dress was pretty and, but you know, and Diana's was pretty. But I think Diana was more for like my mother's time. And now, yeah, so my favorite royal wedding would probably have to be William and Kate. But, um, I like a lot of the royal weddings. I mean, I've, you know, it's really interesting to see pictures. Um, as a matter of fact, if y'all haven't seen it, it's quite beautiful. 
Queen Elizabeth's dress is absolutely gorgeous. I believe it's in this book. I have to look for it. There's like a still of her in her wedding dress. And it's absolutely gorgeous. That's one of the pictures. Actually, that's the only picture in this, I think. In this book. And it's of her at her wedding. And I thought that was pretty cool. And then that's her over here in uh, Prince Philip. Um, who was very good looking in his day, by the way. Um, I'm just curious to see. Do they have any other photos of her in here? Like, at her wedding dress. Her wedding dress is gorgeous. Y'all go look up her wedding dress because it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, Y'all will love it. Oh, crap. There we go. Um, so, anyways, yeah. I would say mine would be Kate and William for my favorite royal wedding. Um, my favorite happily ever after, we're moving back into the books now, is... This one, it's Loving by um, Karen Kingsbury, and it's between Bailey Flanagan, and I believe his name is Brandon. Brandon. Yeah, Brandon Paul. Bailey and Brandon, my favorite, like, couple. Um, when I read this book, I was really hoping um, for one thing, but then she gave me something that I didn't know that I wanted, and... I'm just so happy about how this ended. It was such a beautiful ending. Got her happy ending. It makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside. And I loved it. It was so good. And of course, with happiness, unfortunately, like we see with Charles and Diana, sometimes marriage doesn't work out. And that's all right. So I thought in the spirit of their wedding, we would have the most tragic wedding and I believe it's in this one correct me nicely if I am wrong but the red wedding in this Game of Thrones people need I say more I don't think so the red wedding was one of probably one of the most tragic weddings I've read I mean if y'all know of any other please let me know down in the comments I'd love to hear some more um, but yeah pretty tragic and pretty uh bloody if you know what I mean um and then favorite member of the royal family uh this one would probably be hard for me um it's probably she's not a member yet but I really really am liking Megan a lot not only because she's American but I just think she's gorgeous she's half black she's just she's a feminist she's got all these just gorgeous qualities to her um and I think she's gonna be such a good role model for not only the United Kingdom in and their little girls but for here in America as well and our little girls here you know she's a really great role model to look up to and and everything and so I'm really excited about what she has to offer but for right now since she's not a really an official member of the royal family until tomorrow um, or until today um, she I would have to say Kate Middleton She's just gorgeous and classy and and I mean what what more can I say about Miss Miss Kate Middleton or Catherine Middleton? Um and then my last one would be my favorite wedding series. I have a lot of wedding books and I have not gotten the second or third one in this, but I really need to go and buy it because I loved this. But it's the Once Upon a Prince series by Rachel Hawk. She's a Christian author. Um and it's a royal wedding series and it's so good. I'll read the back of it. It goes a royal prince and an ordinary girl, an extraordinary royal wedding. Once Upon a Prince, the first novel in the royal wedding series by best-selling author Rachel Hawk, treats you to a modern-day fairy tale. Excuse me. Um, Susanna Truett never dreamed of a great romance or being treated like a princess just to marry the man she's loved for 12 years, but life isn't going according to plan. When her high school sweetheart turned marine officer breaks up, instead of proposing, Susanna scrambles for to rebuild her life. Uh, the last thing Prince Nathaniel expects to find on his American holiday to St. Simon's Island is the queen of his heart. A prince has duties and his family's tense political situation has chosen his bride for him. When Prince Nathaniel comes to Susanna's aid, under the fabled lover's oak, he is blinded by love. Um, their lives are worlds apart. He's a royal prince. She's an ordinary girl, but everything changes when Susanna receives an invitation to Nathaniel's coronation. It's the ultimate choice, his kingdom or her heart. 
God's will or their own. I loved it. It was so good. Yay, the light's coming out. Yay. Um, anyways, but this was so good. I loved it, and I really need to get the second and third one. Um, because I just, I loved it. It was a really good story. It was very, like, you know, if you want a story that makes you feel good, this is a good one to do. Um, and that is it. I hope y'all tune in, uh, for the royal wedding today. It is going to be some kind of crazy. I know I'm going to be staying up. I am going to be making some tea. I'm going to have my tiara on. I'm going to have my ring on. Um, yeah, your girl is set. She's, and I'm going to have my pearls. Your girl's set for the world, the royal wedding. Um, so yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, please let me know what you think down in the comments. I, um, post Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So hit the notification bell and also hit that subscribe button while you're at it. And, uh, so you can be notified as to when I post new videos. Um, also, I have a Goodreads. It's Liz Lo Live Loves Book 17. And my Instagram is Live Loves Books 17 as well. So go check both of those out where I post some, some pretty cool things. Um, I posted a video yesterday, um, talking about <clears throat> an update, you know, where I'm at. You know, what, what's been going on, um, that explains a lot of, of, some some reasons as to why I've been absent so I will check that out um you check it out and like I said subscribe and I hope y'all have a great day enjoy the royal wedding um and I will see y'all next week bye